Hi everyone, this is UHU Designs, and this is my full review of the Prusa MMU. So, um, I'm assuming that you all know what uh, multicolored printers are. There are tons of them on the market, and they're becoming more and more available. The AMS Lite, I think, is the cheapest option we've had so far. Um, however, Prusa has actually entered into this twice. First is their XL. Everybody probably knows the Prusa XL. It's a really cool printer with five heads. Um, however, what people might not know is they actually made one for their Mark IV printers, or Mark IV, Mark III printers, and it is called the MMU-3. Now, I actually purchased an MMU-3 about a year ago, um, and I uh, installed it, and it didn't work. Um, it had so many bugs. I, I had to build it myself, and I'm not good at building things. Um, but it had a lot of bugs and also whenever i tried to print it would just kind of glitch out and um it would like flash a red warning on the screen everything would beep and then it would um just not work i'd have to restart it however that's not really why you're here you're here for my review of the mmu3 um i decided to uh reattach it and see if i could get better results um I, after all they've had about a year to refine it hopefully it was better now um assembly process Difficult. Uh, you have to take apart uh, the gearbox for the Prusa Mark IV, and there is just so many different little parts, and it's so annoying every time I actually uninstalled it from this printer, and it was a pain to uninstall and install it. It's not like that you can just plug it in and it works either. You have to replace uh, the idler, the filament sensor. Um, you have to have a lot of space for it because unlike an AMS, it doesn't just sit on top of the printer. Uh, the spools actually have to go elsewhere. And after all of that, um, I set it all up. I had the whole station working, and I uploaded one of Prusa's own uh, files that they had on um, printables, that a, a two-color Benchy, Benchy shirt, um, a two-color Benchy, and hit print, and it failed. There was an issue with the MMU that if um, some of the little pusher wheels on it uh, came unscrewed, then it would not be able to push the filament and these things came unscrewed really easily and were very difficult to screw back in so midway through printing this happened it sucked i uh, left my family at dinner they were not happy with me um and i didn't get it fixed for uh, probably another hour and then it happened again so um super super annoying and after all of that the filament didn't get pushed through on one layer and the entire smokestack spaghettified. However, maybe that was just a one-time thing. Uh, so I decided, hey, let's try again. And this time I printed a Space Marine from Warhammer 40k. This time it went a lot smoother. I don't know what happened with uh, the printer earlier. However, I did still have to babysit it because it would come up with an error that it failed to load filament. And I would just literally have to click a button and it would go, oh, well, I, I never mind. There's no issue. I'm okay. And, um, but it sucked because I couldn't just leave it to run like I normally do with my printers. Um, another thing that I found out very quickly is the amount of waste. Um, all multicolored printers create a ton of waste, and that's, it, it sucks. Um, no one really wants this amount of waste because you can't really recycle it. It's very difficult. Uh, Bamboo Labs does the little um, purges, and this thing makes a little purge block called a purge tower. Now, if you're doing a bunch of color changes, a purge tower is basically just a 100% infill block of plastic. And it is so wasteful, and every time I hold it in my hands, I feel very, very sad that I did this with my life. The Space Marine was two prints, each requiring three colors, and um, overall it worked. I'm very happy with the result. However, it still the quality isn't the best, and it actually didn't extrude plastic on one of the layers. And from that came uh, my goal for the entire project was to eliminate the most amount of waste possible. Uh, first, I tried a um, feature that Prusa implements into their slicer called purge and infill. This means that uh, instead of purging on the purge tower, it purges on the infill. Um, this didn't cause the print to fail, but it didn't exactly work. It probably cut off like five grams of waste, which while something was minuscule. The quality on this print was also terrible. Uh, as you can see, there are tons of layer shifts and other things of the sort. Um, it also, 
again, did not extrude plastic on a few layers. This seems to be a reoccurring issue that I have not seen a solution to. Then I tried another feature, replacing the purge tower altogether. There is a purge to object feature where it basically turns whatever object you set into the purge tower. However, it doesn't really work. It says that it's purging there, but it's not really. It's kind of just printing that object with the colors. There was very little change in the amount of um, waste created, like probably 10 grams, even with 100% infill. I don't know why this is, and um, I bet even if you made the a block way bigger than the uh, print itself with 100% infill, it still wouldn't cut off the purge tower completely, which is odd. I don't know why this is, and I don't think anybody really does. And it overall makes me very annoyed with the printer because um, why would you even have that feature if it doesn't reduce waste? It reduces very little. And then the second issue came into play. So uh, when Prusa, when uh, the MMU makes its purge tower, sometimes filament can build up at one point. Um, and this uh, causes it to run into, uh, the nozzle to run into hardened filament that's piled up. This evidently uh, detaches it from the build plate, or it'll stop the nozzle. So the nozzle thinks, oh, this is the end stop. And then it'll realign the whole printing thing. And uh, this happened three times while I was printing. And it was the most annoying thing in the world. I actually didn't get this model fully printed because it just kept running into itself. I even took it off the build plate one time and just like set it like next to it and just let it purge on the ground and it still ended up like running into itself and misaligning the whole print. Uh, I don't know why, it made me very angry and overall just the user experience for the MMU has kind of never been good. So if you want to get into multicolor 3D printing, the MMU is not the best idea. Um, it creates a lot of waste, and, it, and the waste itself can make your print fail, which is stupid. Um, it, you can't really eliminate much of this waste, and it's, yeah. However, there is alternatives. Pr Bamboo Lab, who I have notoriously not really liked, I haven't trusted them that much. However, they have a real chokehold on the multicolor market. The AMS is a really, really good, like, multicolor system. It doesn't require as much space as the MMU, like, basically no weight, no space at all. It just goes on top of your printer. So it is super, super useful. It, um, it doesn't purge on the build plate itself, so you can fit more things on there. It does do a purge tower, however, there's, um, purge towers never really go away. Um, they are on every single printer. Um, and it's overall a really good thing. You can get this model for literally less than a Prusa Mark IV and an MMU-3. And it pro I think it has like the same build size and works so much better. Another option, if you want little to no waste, is another Prusa offering, the Prusa XL. The XL has five tool heads and is pricey. I think it's about five, no, three hundred, three thousand five hundred dollars for all five tool heads. However, it creates very little waste because it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to purge out old filament, except it does still need a purge tower, a very small one, because if you leave filament in your nozzle for too long, it starts to de deteriorate. So um, if you print, you can print without uh, purging it. However, it makes the print look a little bit worse. And um, most people just don't want that. So the purge tower, very little waste, and it's just overall worth it. However, if I'm not using this MMU, then what am I doing with it? Well, I'm giving it to my school. The school can use it. Um, other people can figure out how to use it. And maybe one day... Prusa will make it really good again. And if they do, I am not going to be the one to test it out. The school is. That is my complete review of the Prusa MMU3. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for all the support on my recent videos. It has meant so much to me. 
Um, I'm sure this video won't do as well as those ones did. However, any um, interaction at all, whether that's comments, questions, um, likes, or really anything, is super helpful and always makes me super happy.